Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. Do you happen to know who's running the show at Hearthstone? Do you know who's Hearthstone's game director? Because until yesterday I didn't know either. Yesterday Ben Hearthstone tweeted about Ixar's departure from Blizzard. Ixar used to be the game director for Hearthstone, but he left and that's already around one year ago. And then there was a job ad at Blizzard searching for new game director, but then nothing. We haven't gotten no news whatsoever about it. However, someone replied to Ben's Twitter tweet. And the response was this. Someone found the information in LinkedIn website that Tyler Beelman, former creative director of Magic the Gathering, might probably be the current game director of Hearthstone. And indeed, it does say that Tyler Beelman would have started as game director for Hearthstone in April 2023. So, for roughly six months, the game has already perhaps had a new game director. So obviously I got really curious. Where is Tyler going to take Hearthstone? What is going to be Hearthstone's direction? Why has there been no announcement about this or anything? Well, starting a new leadership position, it's fine that there's no immediate announcement. I mean, there's lots of plans that are already in motion. There's lots of things that like Tyler enters the team and he can't really change immediately. The expansions, they're already coming. The design is pretty far ahead and like you can't just start tinkering with that. <laughs> Otherwise, it's a disaster. So I would expect to see more of Tyler possibly already with the next, next expansion announcement. And at latest, when the next standard year comes, then, then certainly we should start hearing from Tyler more if Tyler is really the game director, and I have no reason to believe that he wouldn't be. He, after all, has background from Magic the Gathering, so that would be a sensible background. Anyway, I scoured the internet to find out more about Tyler. Yeah, there's nothing personal. I, I'm not going to tell you where he lives, I'm not going to tell you his email address, and I'm not going to tell you his phone number either. Nope, none of those things. If that's what you're looking for, this is the wrong video and the wrong channel. But I am interested in his professional background. And indeed, Tyler spent around six years at Wizards of the Coast from 1998 to 2004, actually originally at Dungeons and Dragons, doing marketing, doing ads, doing brand management, and then eventually doing a little bit of game design as well. He was a designer in three magic sets, Mirrodin, Darksteel and Ravnica. He had no previous game design experience before starting work on Mirrodin, he moved from marketing to design for Mirrodin, and in a podcast actually with Mark Rosewater, he was a guest in one of Mark Rosewater's podcast episodes, he said that what he learned during Mirrodin Darksteel Ravnica has defined his entire career. That this really got him started in game design, he learned so much during those days. And well, Mirrodin Darksteel Ravnica, Mirrodin and Darksteel weren't the greatest of sets, Ravnica was a little bit better I suppose. And Mirrodin especially had some huge balance issues, but don't worry, the artifact lands were actually Mark Rosewater's baby, so <laughs> I had nothing to do with those. Although for a game director position, I'm not that interested in his ability to design individual cards, more like in his ability to grasp the entire process. And one thing that, of course, it's been a long time since he was at Wizards of the Coast, and the magic design process, they have been later on blog post, for example, from Mark Rosewater about the development of Magic's design process. And this would be like the third stage out of seven or eight that they have currently been iterating on. So this was still quite early in the design process of Magic the Gathering. So he doesn't have very recent experience of the latest trains and the latest ways that Magic has been designed. After Wizards of the Coast, he has had numerous jobs. For example, he designed the Xeco trading card game, which is nowadays dead, but anyway. Then he was also a director at Calliope Games. Calliope Games is a board game company. I actually have one of their games, at least I have Zuro, Game of the Path. Really good game, by the way, I, I do enjoy that. Calliope Games makes like very traditional board games. Very fun games, I think that's a pretty good company overall. So yeah, being a director there, that's, that's definitely a big plus in my books. And then he also did some freelance work. For unnamed projects, customers being Wizard of the Coast, Microsoft, and then there were some others as well. This was followed by a long stint at Microsoft, more specifically at The Coalition, the studio that makes Gears of War. He was doing lead design, he was doing brand management, several unannounced projects, also took some projects to completion like Gears Pop, Gears Tactics, some of these Gears of War spin-offs. 
And one thing that he specifically mentions in his resume is designing the microtransaction system for Gears of War 4. Now, Gears of War 4's microtransactions were generally considered extremely predatory. It was already a full cost game and then you could still spend, like they were selling individual microtransactions worth $100, for example. Microtransactions were cosmetic, so I give him that. That's, that's nice. But the system was super expensive, super predatory, built on an already full cost game. So yeah, Gears of War microtransactions is not the, not the greatest thing to put on your resume, I guess. And after leaving Microsoft in 2021, he joined Dabber Labs, where he worked on NFTs and blockchains. Yeah, well, this channel does not support NFTs or blockchain technology in any way, because those are total scams. Then again, he was a game designer. Dabber Labs is making NFT and blockchain games. So maybe he just saw an opportunity to get a bag, something like that. I I don't know, but that, that definitely is not, not a good mark on anyone's resume. But he left Dapper Labs and joined Blizzard. So that's what I was able to find out about Hearthstone's new game designer using the power of the internet. So will this be good for Hearthstone? I'm I'm not sure. I'm I'm not super enthusiastic, but I'm also not all doom and gloom. He has experience from Wizard of the Coast, from Magic the Gathering, that is awesome. On the other hand, that experience is quite old, so there have been many process improvements since, and as a game director I would expect him to get to, to do a lot of work on how the processes function in the Hearthstone team to deliver the right product at the right time. So that's one thing, and the other thing is the general direction of the game, the vision for the game. When it comes to monetization, Obviously, Gears of War 4 microtransaction design and then the willingness to work for an NFT company are not very promising signs when it comes to, like, how do you think to monetize stuff. But we'll see how it goes. At the very least, Hearthstone does now have a game director who has lots of experience, more than 20 years of experience of the industry in various marketing, brand management and lead design positions. And he has seen multiple companies, he has seen digital games, he has seen board games, and hopefully he will bring a good vision for Hearthstone as well. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members, and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.